Now, we have been telling you about the Chinese president's drive to weed out corruption from the army. Now, the U.S. intelligence has revealed that the drive has intensified after corruption began obstructing the president Xi's drive to modernize the army. Now, it had come to the point that questions were even being raised about Beijing's ability to fight a war. U.S. officials believe corruption has become so deep-rooted in the nation's industrial defense base that President Xi is unlikely to order any major military action in the coming years. And these are not mere speculations. U.S. assessment has cited several examples of the impact of corruption. This includes missiles being filled with water instead of fuel and missile silos found with defunct lids in western China. All this has reportedly impacted the morale of the People's Liberation Army. The corruption has especially plagued the PLA's rocket force, the unit that is central to President Xi's modernization drive. But the Chinese president seems to be determined to achieve his goal. A few officials have been sacked while a few others have disappeared. On the 29th of December, nine defense officials, including five linked to the missile force and two from equipment department, were removed. China's political advisory body also removed three executives from state-owned missile manufacturers earlier. While Rocket Force Major General was also quietly removed in November. Now, this happened after China's defense minister, Li Shangfu, was ousted in October after months of disappearance. His whereabouts are still unknown. Now, three top Rocket Force chiefs were also probed and removed. And these are the removals that are out in the open. Otherwise, Chinese military does not reveal details about graft probes. The Chinese military pledged in a January 1st editorial to wage a war on graft this year, suggesting that more removals could happen in the near future. President Xi has uh, pumped billions into buying and developing equipment for the army. These efforts are a part of his mission to build a world-class military by the year 2050. In fact, Beijing's defense budget growing at a faster pace than the economy for some years now.